Hello folks, and welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Minecraft, Yogg's Cast Complete. I'm here with my partner, Pepper Gasu. Hi, Pepper Gasu. Hi. Hi, yay. We're here in a new world. This is, isn't this great? Let's jump, let's jump. And we've gotten started on making a nice little house out of the local wood. Uh, how you doing, Sue? I'm doing fine. How are, are you? you? Are you enjoying this cool world, this uh, cool new world? Yeah, I'm starting to learn, you know, stuff again. Stuff again? So we got a little farm here that you put together, some magical yeah. crops and these cucumbers. Things are starting to grow Sweet and eventually corn. I'll figure out what they do. Are we going to harvest this stuff soon? It looks like it's most of it's ready. So, some of it's ready, yeah. I think all of it's ready, actually. Mm -hmm. Is there anything? No, there's nothing here that's not ready. We should just harvest. I I'm hungry. I have high hunger. I'm being honest with you, I hunger. So Sue and I have set up in this really pretty little area. There is a beautiful crag up over there. There's this picturesque bamboo forest inhabited by bamboo moose, uh, a couple of sheep hanging around, and then we have these really, really gorgeous, picturesque volcano overlooking a kind of a, you know, cherry tree biome. So we've gotten started and done a basic, you know, some basic mining and some other stuff, and you can probably see some funny stuff in my inventory. Candy people will know immediately what I'm up to. But uh, this is the Uggscats Complete Pack, and I'm really excited to play it. And uh, with a new map comes a new start and new ways to do things, and that's actually my favorite time. So I can't wait to show you some of the stuff we've been working on and what we're going to do next. Now, you may notice that my life bar is doubled up. I walked here from Chaosville. That's right, we used QCraft to leap between, so I got to keep my player data. And so that not only means that I, you know, got to walk here and keep my, my super full life bar, but I kept all my Thomcraft research and uh, my R's research, and I, I got rid of everything that I carried except for this hang glider, which I love. And <laughs> I'm not giving up. I'm not giving this up. You can call me a cheater if you want. I dare you. Call me a cheater and see if I care, because I... I'm a hang glider, and I love it, and I'm going to hang glide. But uh, <laughs> we probably need to make better tools soon, so I think we probably mm -hmm. we'll work on that next and um, ah, and see what we can do on that front. And um, got to get some diamonds, too. We got none. So, uh, yeah, let me go grab the stuff we need, and we'll get right on that. Yay. Okay, folks, so um, I think the first thing we're going to do, I haven't done it in a while, actually. I'm kind of excited. We're going to do Tinker's Construct. Uh, we need better tools. We've been using like just regular vanilla tools and going down and doing stuff, and that's not awesome. So we're going to fix that up. I've also been using a couple other tricks, which we may I may talk about this episode. But uh, yeah, all we have to really do to start is just make um, really just a lot of wood. Just need uh, we'll save a little bit of this wood off to the side, and then we'll, we just need a lot of sticks as well. Now I could go, well you know what? Maybe we'll be fine without that because what we could just do is like this, like this, and use these bamboo as sticks. So let's just go ahead and grab four patterns should be enough to start, I think. In fact, I think that's perfect. What we want to do is, as per the usual thing that you do, oh, by the way, I did bring my dark craft clipboard. <laughs> Not leaving that at home. Uh, what we usually do is something like this, where we, you know, build a crafting table, and then we build a crafting station, uh, but really it's a tool station, and we're just going to go through the standard stuff that we do, the things that we need, when we're making a nice um, Tinker's Construct setup. It's nothing too special. You've seen it all before. But I'm hoping that with all the cool new alloys and things that I didn't really use in previous episodes, previous uh, seasons of Resonant Rise, that we'll be able to um, kind of go through and make some tools, the likes of which people have never seen, because they are cool. Uh, and then finally, a stencil table, which is just a block of wood. There we go. So uh, these are all the things we need. And then we'd probably like at least one more uh, double chest out here for good measure. And I'll show you why in just a sec. So we got this tool station. This is probably the first thing that we want to get down. Um, actually, what we do need is one more of these, like so, because there's some really cool updates that I don't think people quite know about. So there we go. Crafting station. Let's go ahead and put down the crafting station first. Now, these are just superior to regular crafting tables. You can put things in, walk away, nothing pops out. Hooray, right? That's perfect. They also look pretty cool in this Sword X texture pack. The next thing we're going to put down right next to it is the tool station. Uh, this is the thing that actually lets you make tools. Now, what's kind of cool about this is you'll notice that now when I look at the tinker table, there's a little uh, little icon in the middle that wasn't there before. The tool station, the, the thing here, has actually been merged into it. So it's actually like there now. It's pretty cool. So we can, we can pretty much um, use this as if it were one of these. Uh, without any problems. Now, it can help to use this just to help guide your forms. Like, go make a tool, it shows you how, that's nice, you have to use it that way, but it's not really necessary otherwise. Similarly, over here, we're going to add a double chest. Now, if we look over here, we'll see that actually the inventory next to us is added there as well. So, check that out, Sue. 
Now that's like a combination crafting station. The middle one, it's all put together. It's super cool that way. Huh. Yeah, right? Easy. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I think so anyways. Swag. Yeah, I know. YOLO swag. So then I think we can go like this. We put down this here, the pattern chest, and the part builder here. And uh, we don't really need to put the stencil table down anywhere special. We'll just put it down here for now. But there we go. So that's like kind of like a whole crafting station, right? We look here. We don't need anything there, but we look here, and we can actually see the pattern chest there. It doesn't really have to be here, but it's just kind of nice. We can move that else. In fact, you know what? No, it's it's better if we move it, I think, because it'll look more symmetrical. So let's go ahead and break this, this, this. And let's just go like that. And then where'd that guy go? There. And then finally the stencil table over here. There we go. It looks pretty good, right? This is our little... Our little workstation here. So, um, what we need to do is start by making some stencils. Now, Sue, I imagine that you need some cool stuff, right? Some sweet, yeah. sweet tools. What do you think you need the most? Hmm. A broom? Well, for flying, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Oh. What do you, what do you think you need? An axe, a pickaxe, a shovel? What do you want? A hoe, maybe? Oh, a sweet axe would be nice. Wait, do you want, do you want like a mattock, maybe? Ooh, we can make a mattock. Okay. A mattock is, is freaking sweet. So uh, first we'll go over here and we'll toss these this wood and this wood here in there. So that now we can do like so. Oh, this is, this is the way to do it. Look at this. This is freaking pro over here. I'm like freaking Minecraft king. And then of course we can do, you know, um, make a few more blank patterns. Let's just go ahead and make like the whole eight. We're probably gonna need to get some more wood soon, so. Should I go? Oh wait, but I need an X. Uh, yeah, so let's see if we, we, let's see what we can get you. Okay. Um, let me just pull this out and I'll plank the rest of this for now. We don't need any more of that. Oak wood. So you see we're making these blank patterns. You can look in and actually see it, right? Is this what a blank pattern looks like? You'll see it in just a sec. Oh, okay. Uh, well, that was the most involved making of eight patterns ever. All right, so we got eight patterns. All right. We need to go over here and let's go ahead and make you a nice starting tool. So mm -hmm. we go over here to the part builder. Now, I need, Sue, your help. Uh, okay. for the, let's go to the stencil a little bit first. I need you to bring back for me some some um, more wood. Okay. Wood. Can you do that? How much wood do you need? Uh, I don't know. Go, go check another tree. You need uh, oak or cherry. Either will do. We're using planks. Oops. That's meat. That's not what I... <laughs> well, we're going to make a tool rod pattern. Um, <laughs> Sue's weird. I have... I need a pickaxe pattern, so I'm going to pull that I have that unplanked ten pieces of oak wood. Oh, wow. Uh, do you need more? No, that should be fine. Okay. Uh, want me to toss them to you? Yeah. Or do you want them planked? Uh, go ahead and plank them. Okay. Let's see. So what do we need? What do we even need for a mattock? I forget. I haven't made one in a long time. Let's go got, here. Mattock. Got forty pieces of oak. Axe head and a shovel head. So that should be good, right? We got. We need an axe head. There we go. All right. So so he, let me show you how this works. Um. The first thing we need to do for any, if you come over here. The first thing you got to do for any of these things is you need to make a um, is make make tools out of the the appropriate patterns. So what we're gonna do uh, is go over here to the part builder, All right? And we're gonna go ahead and make a tool rod for you. This is where the planked wood comes in. I don't have it. You must have. Can you give it to me? You're still holding. It. I'm still holding little... forty. So... Could you hand me a little bit of it? Just maybe two or three. Thanks. Any of these will work. Can I? What's more? No, I just didn't pick it up. There oh. we go. <laughs> All right. So the first thing we're going to do is make wooden rods. Wooden Wood is a pretty good tool for... Uh, these are oak wood planks. There we go. Pretty good thing. So we want to make these... Um, basically, these uh, wooden tool rods, they're a pretty good substance for this. And they also make sticks, which is fantastic. So now we have wooden tool rods. You can, you can hold on to this for me. Okay. I got them. Right. Next thing we're going to make is for you we're making a shovel head. And we're going to make that out of stone. So I use my shovel head pattern and a piece of cobblestone. And then also an axe head and a piece of cobblestone. And we get this stone axe head. So uh, here, I'm going to give these to you. I'm going to ask you to go ahead and put this tool together. Why don't you head over to the tool builder over there? Let's see. I have a stone axe head. Is that mm -hmm. all I have? You should have a stone axe head and a stone... Shovel head. Yeah, shovel head. So why don't I you go over to... Yeah. And then you have you have those two uh, those two things over there, right? Two sticks. Yeah. Okay, so I need to go to the the tool builder. 
Tool builder. Is mm -hmm. that over there on your side? No, it's on your side. Tool builder. Crafting station. Mm -hmm. Tool station. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what goes where? So if you want to go ahead and click on the Matok button, it's the top row furthest to the right. Matok button. Mm -hmm. Furthest to the right. Does it have a little uh, ribbon on the end of it? Yeah. Click. Matok. The it should show you the three pieces that you need. It says I need an axe head, a shovel head, and a handle. The handle is one stick, right? Yep. So I put in one stick? Yes. I'll put in the shovel head and the stone axe head. head. Yeah. And now you can go ahead and name it before you pull it out. Oh, okay. You can name it, I don't know, Poopiter. Okay. Okay, and go and pull it out. All right. Show it off your new tool. So that's a mattock. A mattock is a pretty neat tool. It functions, it can plow the ground, it can act as an axe, and it can act as a shovel. So you can see you can dig pretty fast with it. And you can also right-click the plow, and you can use it for, for axing. If you ever want to repair it, here I have a nice supply of cobblestone I got from when I was mining. Take that 30 cobblestone. You can just toss it in the tinker table or the repair station with some stone, uh, this crafting station here, and it will go through and do all the stuff. So I would put the mattock in the center? Yeah. And then I would put cobblestone? Yeah, just a piece. And it so, like and now you can pull it healed. out. Yeah, completely healed. Awesome, right? Wow. wow. Yeah, so that's... Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so that's... I'm going to be making myself... Oh, I need a tool binding, huh? I didn't quite make that, so let me go ahead and make that. Uh, actually, one thing I've done, been doing, I'm going to go over and do that. Sue, so, so you got, you're all set up there? You got yep, what you need? I got You could probably a... use some more wood. Just saying. Whoa, really? I got 38 wood. Or, oh, you mean... For building. For building. Yeah. Okay. And maybe we can repair that. Um, oh, awesome. So one of the things I've been doing is um, I have been using the Ex Nihilo Crook. If you use it normally, it just increases your chance of dropping a um, sapling. But occasionally you get these cute little silkworms. We'll see if we get one. Um, when we get these cute little silkworms, you can have them infest trees. I'll see if I can show it on camera. Unfortunately, we actually had another episode, but the sound quality for doing two people it honestly didn't come out quite right. So what we did was we infested this, these trees with silkworms. And now we can kind of go through. You see, we've got all these trees here with silkworms. And instead of getting saplings out of them, these infested trees, we get um, these uh, really cool bits of string. So, so long as I crook these trees, we end up with uh, just a whole bunch of things. So I'm going to leave one of these trees. Oh, 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 All these trees are going to get infested, huh? Let's just go ahead and break this. I think it can't jump a gap of two. So let's just go ahead and go like that. And there we're good. Because, yeah, looks like the infection has not spread. We'll leave this last tree, we'll leave it its leaves. Maybe Sue can come by and cut all these down, and then we'll have more things. But we can get a whole bunch of string. I'm kind of curious if I could use string for a tool binding. It might be cool. That should probably be enough. And I can also make a nice bow this way, too. So I think I'll probably be doing that. So, turns out we can't. We'll just use stone for now. No big deal. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Got a, got a, got a customer here. Get out my... Maybe I need to make a sword. Even a stone rapier. Might be... What are you wearing, dude? Is that a hat, or do you have actual shades? Oh, I got... Oh, snap. Oh, that's right, we have the hats mod. So I got my sunglasses on. Deal with it. Hey, Sue. Watch out for the zombie. What? Oh, Watch out dear. for the zombie! I got it! Ah, he's so fuzzy in my texture pack. Why is he so fuzzy? Is he, like, made of fuzz? Did you kill him with an axe? Sue, I dealt with it. You did? Yeah. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got some stone bindings over here before I got so rudely interrupted. Yeah, uh, let's just go ahead and do one more of those. Now we got two stone bindings. I don't think we actually need the second one, but that's okay. We'll toss it in this chest. Can I make the chest this way? Because this would be pretty sweet. Can I go like this and this and this? Could that work? Oh, uh, no, it doesn't. So you can't make tools. This whole t tinker table thing is, is crazy. But it's like how you open up the armor, the tinker's armor. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so I guess the next thing we should probably do is not, like, tech up pretty hard, I guess? Like, we want to immediately get over into the world of uh, metal tools. Because these stone tools, I mean, they're they're cute. I didn't even bother naming it because I just don't care. I just don't even care because it's, they're rubbish. They're just terrible, right? So we're going to... I'm going to go grab some stuff. In particular, I need a lot of sand because we have been using... I guess I could show this. Um, 
Ex Nihilo gives you these hammers, and they're pretty cool. They let you do really weird things. Like, for example, you can double ores with them. Um, well, not quite double, actually. I think it's like one and a half, but you can just, like, beat down ore and make... So here we go, iron ore. You can go like this and make uh, little, little, little bits of broken iron ore come out. And then if you were to take that, you see we have one extra, and make some iron ore gravel, we could then put it down again and make even more of these things, and then we could put these down again, and basically so on and so on, and you keep ending up with more and more potential things to, to smelt until you finally just have all of them. So yeah, you can see we got five now. If we went through a bunch of ore this way, we would actually end up with a sufficiently large amount of um, this gravel to actually make another piece. Uh, but I think we're not going to do that. I think we're just going to use a regular pickaxe because, you know, um, my time is valuable and I don't want to do this. But yeah, so, um, <laughs> oh, well, the other thing that we can do with this guy, let's just grab those because we will smelt them, is we can break up, ooh, something fell out. Vintium dust fell out of the stone. Wow, that's cool. Oh, yeah, that's, we can actually do things like break um, stone into gravel. We can break gravel into sand. So this is pretty sweet, right? And then we can uh, turn sand, most excitingly, we can turn sand into um, dust. Now, the reason that's really cool for us, and we should have two dust. Did we lose the dust? No, here it is. Right. Uh, is because with this dust, this super fine dust, and a, um, where's the layout? Here it is. A barrel from Ex Nihilo. You fill it up with water. You toss it. No! Oh, God. Why? Oh, oh, this is terrible. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that was terrible. <clears throat> you toss in your, <laughs> your dust into a barrel full of water, right click, and out comes a whole block of clay. Now, we're not in a sky block, but let's face it, that's awesome. That's that's terribly cool. So, um, man, I, I'm really worried about all these spiders. These guys are a real problem. Anyways, I just need to go and take my new shovel, and I need to get a bunch of sand and gravel. And we can use... Um, I can use the hammer to make more gravel, and then we're going to work on making a smeltery. So let me go ahead and amass the grout, because that's just a lot of digging and being boring, and uh, we'll see if we can build a little bit more of the house and build a smeltery this episode. I'm coming towards the volcano. I built my new, my new sword, by the way. It's a flint sword. Caveman's justice. Can you see me? Down here? Next to the, the volcano? Oh, yeah, I do. Whoa. That's nope. a trap. Pshh. I'm looking for more derpy trees, and I saw a pool of stool. And there's no information when I when I um, curse over it. Uh, yeah, there's a key binding you can set up to, to do that. Man, there's so many bees around here. We even put our our house around bees. Where's this pool of stool? It's over here. What do you mean? So this is like most extreme elimination challenge. Right here, pool of stool. Really? Ow! 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 I would thought I would knock you in, but instead I just killed you. Because I'm a terrible Why is it called caveman justice? Well, I mean, because I thought yeah. I was going to... Also, I can't see... What's wrong with me? I can't... Um, Dave, look at me. I was like, what is this? I thought I would knock you in like a regular sword, well, but I, instead it just I, holds I came you in, in place it, and just annihilates you. I didn't even mean to. I'm uh -huh. terribly sorry. Uh -huh. Here, I'm going to put down this torch as like a commemorative candle. Uh -huh. Here lies Sue. Yeah, there we go. It's a commemorative candle. I believe that this is... This is spousal abuse. Spousal abuse. <laughs> and it's, it's this funny. This is a domestic issue now. This is a domestic issue. You gonna call the cops? Are you coming over to get your... Yeah, uh... where are the Wii U's? <laughs> and there's so... Oh, why do we make all that clay? There's just so much in the ground over here. You made it. Because you wanted it. I just didn't explore thoroughly. Where are you even? I have to come back. I have to walk around the volcano. Oh, you went around that way. You didn't just go through the water? No. That was just because that was the closest where I was earlier. This is like to fake me out so that I can't kill you again. You are going to kill me again. I know it. No, I can't. It's a domestic issue. No. This domestic. Why do you have my skin? What oh, because you... you killed me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Damn you. I'm See, evil. look at this. It's, it's, it's floating over grass. Yeah, you just have to break it. Just just hold down the. <laughs> just hold it down. Just hold down the mouth button and just, just beat the crap out of your grave. Take out your all your anger with me and blame the grave mm -hmm. instead. Blame the grave. I'm not angry with the grave. Whoa, my stuff. Oh, shoot. I don't want any of this. Did my stuff go terrible. inside my, inside the pool of stool? Here, here. Awful. Here's your, um, actually, I don't think I got very much that was yours. Look at this. Now I have to put this all in order again. It's valuable to learn how to die. At your hands, I know. 
I, I think it... Mm-hmm. Well... Hey, I'm missing a tool. Which tool are you missing? An um, axe? I had an axe. Oh, I have I had a crappy axe. Cracks. Actually, this axe is... You know, it's a stack. It's still an axe. What can we do with this stool, you think? Oh, uh, we can just avoid it because it's poo. <laughs> well, I mean, look, it, it's a resource. We could we could do stuff with it, right? Like what? We could fertilize our fields with it. I'm not going to carry it over there. Well, look, we could take a bucket of it over there, bucket at a time, and then fill up somebody else's house, maybe? Sure, let's find the nearest house. How about oh. that witch's house over there? Oh, yeah, I'll just get back at her. <laughs> yeah, it's so long. Ooh. You think we could do anything with this basalt, too? I don't know, maybe? Oh, we could make this hay. You know, I'm about to make the smeltery. It's just cooking up right now. You think we could use this as the platform? Yeah, sure. Because I can go like, I think I can go like this. I think you could also use a chisel on a basalt. Can we? I believe, I believe basalt's one of those things that can be chiseled. <laughs> so, um, you, I think you might be right. So there's Are like you basalt wearing sunglasses? Brick. Yeah, because I'm you, I'm, but I'm evil you. Oh, I see. What we could do. So is there like uh? You said you want to go see a witch. Are you gonna, I, I, I do. Are you going to mine or are you going to see a witch? I just, no, I have to know if there's... I don't think you can chisel basalt. I don't see anything in there that you could... You do. sure? Pretty sure. All right, so show me. Show me the witch. Okay. Uh, I believe it's this way. Season of the... Let's see, this way. Back in the day... Am I standing here? Oh, there we go. You see that cobweb over there? I thought oh, it was Oh, that's empty. a witch as well. Interesting. Yeah. Did we, have we looted the uh, treasure? Dude, I got killed by her. Or she's in here being troublesome. Well, she's gone now. She's gone now. And there is crap in here. There's Radio Rivendall, a claw from Darkcraft, a whole bunch of creosote oil, and then a stencil so that we can be like, uh, what's his name? Delson. <laughs> Look at me and my social commentary. Oh, so she doesn't show up for you. No, I think that you chased her off. Oh, there's a silver witch right here, though. Well, so I, I think a little bit further south is where supposedly Zoe and Rithian stake the claim. So we have to, can't go too much further south. No, no, I wasn't planning going, planning going south. I, I was planning going this way towards where the sun was setting, mm -hmm. which I believe is the... Ow. Oh, 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 God, there's one. Run away, Dave, run away, no, no, no. run She's away. She's mine. Ow. Yes. <gasps> she dropped a witch's hand, Sue. Super rare. Whoa. Super rare. Look oh, at this. So Look at this horrifying think... hand. I'm, don't worry, I'm fine. What? I don't see it. Super rare. Yeah. Look, I'm going to touch you with it. Where is it? Yeah. I don't see it. Yeah. Oh, it's gross. Yeah. Ew. What does it do? What does it do? Yeah, it goes right in your ear. What willy? Decaying oh, what willy? Gross. Decaying Ew. what willy? Oh. oh, I can't believe we found that. That's such good news. we got to lock this away somewhere safe to keep it secret. You dig a hole and put it down. <laughs> well, the thing is, is that I actually could use this. For what? So I I was a powerful creepy? I was a powerful witch on you want to see you need you know what you need, you need two witches hands right and yeah, you, yeah that way I can just flop about it effectually uh -huh. okay so stand back because this is pretty dangerous stuff but I actually still have my earth infusion from Chaosville so I can do stuff like, like yeah what? I can do stuff like that I, don't, so like, I didn't see anything why so I go and Wait, just shoot are we destroying matter is that what you're saying well no like, I'm shooting it off into the distance so like, I can like Wait, raise a column it go? of I didn't earth see it. watch okay. I raise a column of earth here mm -hmm. uh, right, sorry. I'll... But I didn't see it shoot off into this. Oh, what? Yeah. What the hell was that? Yeah. So you don't want that, right? And um, I can I can Did do other stuff too. You poke it away? Yeah. You kind of I can I can send it, and I can go like um. Yeah, it's like that. Like a huge wave of dirt went flying. Did we just destroy a bunch of trees? Uh, no. But I got a bunch of seeds. See? Oh, seeds. I yeah. like seeds. Yeah, new seeds. I'm, my, my inventory is pretty full, but here you can see again. I'll I'll probably won't kill you. No, ah, don't do it here. I'll hide behind this tree. Well, you, you want to be able to see it, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. But I don't want to get hit. Oh, 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 I can't breathe. I can't breathe. <laughs> Are you okay? Well, yeah, I couldn't breathe there for a second. I don't know what the hell happened. Yeah, well, that was because the wave of Earth submerged you. It's pretty powerful magic, and as you can see, it's all. I, I've almost got all my Earth Infusion gone. What's kind of cool about Earth Infusion, the reason I... Wow, there's just a hover flower now. Cool. Um, the reason I left it is because it... Wow, it really fucked up slanting. <laughs> you um, can use it to keep the uh, to, to not die when you fall. So like I could jump down here, and as long as I land on dirt, I'm safe. I go wee, and then I instead I pop out a piece of dirt or, or stone or something. But I, I didn't see you at all though. I got I fell all the way down here. I'm fine. So they can make it back up. Yeah. Nope. Man. I still can't see you. Yeah, I'm, I fell way down here. It's actually kind of a problem to work my way back up.